Hi guys, good morning. Uh, in this video, we are going to see minimum time to complete all tasks. Before starting, if you guys like the video, if you have been seeing it earlier, then please hit the like button. And if you, after watching the video, if you like it, then please also hit the like button. It helps and motivates a lot. A lot. Yeah, let, let's start with the question. Uh, it says that uh, there is a computer which can run unlimited number of tasks at a time. And what a task mean here? It means that it's given as a start time or end time and a duration, which means that I get task. It should run for in total of duration seconds and it should run in this range from start to end which means that start to end is the range like this then it should run in this range and maybe like it's, it's the range includes five seconds and my task only needs three seconds so i can just use one second one second right here and one second right here i need to run this in three seconds but i have to use all the three seconds cool uh, and it says the same thing that we can also run it in between cool no worries uh, ultimately we need to return the minimum time during which the computer should run should be turned on to complete all tasks which means that let's see with the example what this last line means last line means that if this is an example let's it's the first task is the second task is the third task so basically the first task which is indicated in blue it is that it runs from two to three seconds and the task itself is of one second which means that i need to run it for one second let's say i run it at third second and it's completed because it just needs one second cool let's see the second task which is represented by orange so it runs from four to fifth second four to fifth seconds and it's of also one second itself so i just ran it here cool no worries and the last task which is the third task it can run from first to five seconds which is from here to here and it's of two seconds which means that okay i can run at any time it can also be like this right it can also be like this i can just have to run for two seconds but it is said that i need to use the minimum number of time the computer is on so if i put it here the, so the computer will be on for three seconds which is this this and this but i want minimum so i can just make the whole task parallel so i can run one task here also so that it can become parallel and that is what we're gonna do we we made these tasks which means the third task and first we, we made the third task it parallel with the first task and the third task parallel with the second task with this help we made these as parallel and we used only two computers let's see the next example also to understand it more clearly uh, i don't know why it's lagging but yeah uh, so basically the first task right here it can run from first to third second and it's of two seconds cool no worries so i just ran it here and here blue one the second task it can run from two to five seconds and it's of three seconds two to five seconds and it's of three seconds so i just ran it from two three and five i'll show how we did but yeah here i'm showing it we are doing like this the last task which can run from five to six seconds it's of two seconds so i can just run it here and here so you can easily see that in total machine one two three and four four machines are being used basically four seconds the computer is turned on so i will just return as four so yeah it was the whole intention of this problem which we are going to see now with this example so while we are filling this particular example you notice one thing let's see this example again i had this blue range so like you know exactly like now i will say about the colors rather than exactly the same question which is start and the duration i'll say about the colors right so it's the reason i've marked with different colors so the first task is of let's say of blue color so you easily saw that how i marked it i marked the two seconds at the end number of point which we need to fill which means the number of duration which we need to fill i mark that at the end you know why because if it is in the end 
it might happen that it can overlap with some other range. Here in this example, it's an orange range. So it might happen that this blue range might overlap, might, not sure, might overlap with this orange range. And if it is, then if I put my whole task of one in the end, so it might overlap with the start of orange range and it can help me to actually use that starting range of orange. It's the reason I started, I have this whole range of blue, but I started with the end to fill it. Right. Now you will see how. So basically as soon as the orange came, what happened was my orange came. Now I have this whole duration, which means from two to five. And also I have three seconds which I need to fill. But my blue ending two were already filled and it's also overlapping. So why not use that same thing, right? So I use that same thing as it was already overlapping and was already being used. So I just filled that thing. But still, I also had four thing, right? Which is also overlapping with orange. But I'm not filling it right now. Because last time only I saw, it's always optimal to fill in the end. Wait for now. So I will not fill it. I still have one remaining for orange. But I will not fill it. I will fill it in the end. So what I will do, I will fill it at the end. Because I know unconsciously that, okay, it might happen that maybe this orange end, it might overlap with some other range and I can just utilize that thing. So rather than filling, because if I, if I would have filled here, so it might not have been optimal to fill because maybe it's overlapping, maybe it's not. But if it is at the end, then it's for sure will overlap at the end range. Let's see how. As the white range came, wow, you will see that what happened was this white is overlapping now and it's only because we put the orange remaining ones at the end of the orange orange range so orange range end we have a point here and luckily it's overlapping with the starting range of white so i can just use that thus i use this range if 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 i would have put my orange range orange one point here then what would have happened was that it would have used one two three four and five machines but I need to use my machines or basically when I say machines, it is just that, okay, a computer is using one machine at a time and one machine, but in the problem, it says number of time the computer is running. So if it would have been the case, then my computer would have run five seconds, but I can easily run it in just four seconds. So my optimal range always is try to fill in the start, which is overlapping one, try to fill in the start, which is overlapping one with the last range, try to fill in the start, which is overlapping one with the last range. And always try to fill my points at the end of the range so that unconsciously thinking so that ultimately when my next range come, so I'll try to fill in the starting as in this example, I'll try to fill in the starting and maybe it would overlap with the last range of end. It was the whole thing and it was the whole intuition of this problem that I just try to fill in the range end and I, when I'm moving on the next range, I'll try to see, okay, the starting range, is it overlapping with any of the ending range? I basically ending range I filled, maybe it is, maybe it is not. If it is, then I will just fill it. If it is not, then I will fill the remaining points in the end. And it's the same thing that I just write the algo here that sort the range on the basis of end index because I just need to fill the end of every range. So that end of the particular task I, it can help us in overlapping with the start of the next task. And as soon as it is done, what we can do is we can start overlapping the partitions, which is which which means these ranges. And if, if some duration is remaining, which means I try to fill in the start of any range, if some duration remains, then I will fill at the end of that particular range. And it's the same thing, same problem which we have coded. Firstly, we started on the basis of the end index because we know that how it is done by the above example. Then what we try to do is I try to fill in here in this particular portion. I try to fill in the starting which is already been overlapped. So this time on it indicates that particular I, but at particular I seconds, my machine or my computer was being used. So you can easily use that in this particular range from, from start to end for, for particular 
task i i can easily use the previous ones which means this in in this example for this particular orange one my these two were already on so you can use these it's a okay okay for me so i just did a okay okay for me here it's a okay okay for me in the next thing i try to put it in the end as you can see i start from the end and move backwards i minus minus let me move it bigger i try it from the end and move it backwards and see okay if it is the case that i can if it is already on which means it is exactly the same thing above which means that it was already on it is not on in this step so i can't increase it right now and i can't use it because i've used it in the earlier step only else i can just use that particular end thing and as my one duration is decreased because i have put my one thing here so it's decreased and ultimately as it it is being used so i have to make it true back and it's the same thing that i am trying to fill the end partitions basically the end portion of that partition or range and ultimately i just find okay how many times my machine was or my computer was on and it's the ultimate answer so i hope that you guys enjoyed the whole intuition i never took okay we have to sort something we have to do something we just took and see the example very carefully what is happening and why it is happening we th 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 thought of every range okay why it's happening like this why we started one range at the end then why the other range starting from the start ending of the first range and still the range was remaining but still we are putting the remaining things at the end of that range we thought everything very intuitionally so i hope that you guys liked it if yes then twitter like button it helped me motivate a lot and yeah see you in the next video goodbye take care